Welcome to the tutorial video for the No Beginning Chain Strawberry Lace Blanket. It is another one of my No Beginning Chain style blankets that are used with usually homes, homespun or boucle style yarns, um, but can be used with any style yarn. But what what those blankets do is is they allow you to use the bumpy yarns because no stitches except one is made in another stitch. Most all but one stitch are made in chain spaces so there's no finding stitches. So it makes really quick easy blankets in the bumpy yarns. I'm going to demonstrate a sample of that blanket using a non-bumpy yarn, just a regular smooth yarn just so that you can see the stitches more clearly as I'm demonstrating. I will have a link in the description of the video that will be a link to the blog that has the pattern, the complete written pattern that has yarn requirements for several different sizes and will also show you how many and it, what we'll be doing is making chain spaces and it'll show you how many chain spaces you'll need to make what size blanket so that's what these blankets do. Instead of having a beginning chain, we're going to make chain spaces. So I'm going to start by making um, a um, my first loop. And I what I do is I just put my yarn over my hook and make two chains and pull the end and it makes a slip knot. So the first thing I'm going to do to start out is chain three. Then I'm going to make a triple crochet, and that's the one where you go around your hook twice, do two yarn overs, and then this again, this is the only stitch that you'll have to find in this entire blanket. That very first chain that you made, it's actually the slip knot there. Go in that with your triple crochet, finish it out, two, two loops, two loops, two loops. And this is our first loop, and we're going to make a series of these and we're going to work the first row of the blanket or the next row of the blanket into these spaces instead of a beginning chain. So to make the next one of these chain three again and yarn over twice for your triple. But instead of going into a stitch we're going to go into that last space we just made and finish out your triple. Two, two, two. So now we have two of these little loops chain three again. Yarn over twice for your triple. Go into that last space, so the second one that you made. And you'll always, as you're making these loops, you always make your triple into the last loop that you made. So now I have three of these loops, and that's what we'll be working into as we make the blanket. Now, for this video, I'm just going to make an abbreviated version of this. I'm going to make two repeats so that you can see a complete row of, or column of shells and two columns of strawberries. So I'm going to start with nine of these loops. So I'm chaining three and doing a triple into the last loop. Chain three, triple into the last loop. I have six so far, I need three more. All right, so those are my nine triple crochet chain loops. And it, when you look at the the pattern online, I give dimensions of finished blankets based on how many of these loops you start with. So for typically when you're doing crochet, when you change from one row to the other, you turn your work this way. And we will do that on subsequent rows, but for this first row, we're just going to work back without turning this. You're not going to turn it. You're just going to work right back over the work you've just done. We're going to chain four. 
but we're not going to turn. And as you work across this first row, it's the second row, but the first real pattern row, as you work it, you're going to go back into these loops and you'll be forming stitches over these triples. As you work into those spaces, the triples are on top because that's where they were as you made them. So just leave them there on the top and you will work into, uh, over the top of those. So we chained four and we're going to make two double crochet into this first space so the double crochets will be over that triple stitch. And there, that is a partial shell. And these little half shell type shells will be a column of these on either side of the blanket. Now for the pattern, you're going to chain one. And then we're going to do a strawberry bottom. We're going to skip one loop, skip one, and in the third loop here, or space we're going to make a strawberry bottom now the strawberry bottom is five double crochets separated by chains so remember I chained one after the shell and now I'm going to make one chain two double crochets and then chain and do a third double crochet chain fourth oops fourth double crochet, chain, and then a fifth double crochet. So I have a total of five double crochets that I made into that loop and they're separated by chains and that is the bottom of our strawberry. And I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to make skip another one of these chain loop things and work in this one and then make a shell. And this is a complete shell. It's two double crochets, two chains, and two more double crochets. So there's the shell in that chain loop. And then remember we're skipping one of these between each of these things that we're making. So I'm going to chain another one and then we're going to work another strawberry bottom. Remember skipping one of our triple loops. And I'm going to do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So I have five double crochets separated by chain stitches. Chain one. Now we're to the end. We're going to skip, remember, skip this loop. We're back to our first loop that we made. And we're going to work a another one of these partial shells. And this is going to be our end partial shell that will be at the end of every row. So we're going to do two double crochets and then chain one and then do a double crochet. So that will be the end of every row and then the one that we did at the beginning will be the beginning of every row. So now we have two repeats of the pattern. So we have two, the beginnings of two strawberries going on here with a column of, it had the foundation of the column of shells. So every row the way you will turn Remember this time we will turn, we're going to chain four and then turn so we can work across that row. We'll do two double crochets in that first partial shell and that's how you'll begin every row. So a partial shell in that partial shell. And then we're going to chain one. Now and my strawberry, I'm going to be working in these spaces of the strawberry. Remember I had five double crochets and chains between, so I end up with four spaces. In each of these spaces you're going to be making a single crochet separated by three chains. So I'm going to single crochet in the first one, chain three, one, two, three, then single crochet in the next one, then chain three. And then the next one, and a chain three, 
And then the last one. So I have four single crochets and between them I have these three chain loops. So that's the next tier of our strawberry. I chain one and then I make a shell in the shell from the last row. Two double crochets, two chains, and two double crochets. Chain one, and then again on our strawberry bottom we've got the four spaces, so do a single crochet in the first one. One, two, three, single crochet into the next one. One, two, three, single crochet into the third one. One, two, three, chains, then single crochet in that last space chain one and now we're going to do our partial shell in that ending shell. Two double crochets, chain, and a single double crochet. Alright, so we have part of our strawberries done now. And we have another layer of our column of shells. The chain of four and turn. Do my two double crochets to finish out my partial shell. Now this is where you need to start paying attention and you'll have this will be probably the thing that you'll have the most trouble remembering from row to row is how many chains go between the shells and the strawberries. Um, on this row we're going to have two chains. We'll go one two chains between the shells and the strawberries. Now this time on the strawberries we have one, two, three loops from last time. So we're going to have three single crochets and put one in each of these loops. So one single crochet in that loop, chain three, then a single crochet in the next loop, chain three, then a single crochet in the last loop. Then remember chain two on this row and then work your shell, two double crochets two chains, two double crochets, all in the shell from the last row, and then chain two, single crochet in the first strawberry loop, one, two, three chains, single crochet in the next loop, one, two, three chains, and then single crochet in the last loop, chain two, and then your partial shell, two doubles, chain double. So our, our strawberries are almost done in that row. Chain four, oops, one, two, three, four, and turn. Two double crochets in our partial shell to finish it. Alright, this time before our strawberries we're going to be making three chains. One, two, three. I have two loops from the last row, so there will be a single crochet in each of those two loops with three chains between them. And that's all you're doing on your strawberry this time, just that little cap on top. Then chain three and move over to your shell and make a shell. chain three, and single crochet in the first loop, chain three, single crochet in the second loop, chain three, and then shell in the sh partial shell in the partial shell. Okay, so our strawberries are done for that row. Notice that the the column with the shells is taller than the strawberries. So we're going to have to have a transition row that will set us up for the next strawberry so that we're not out of sync here. So we don't have these... Otherwise our, our shells would bunch up because the strawberries would be closer together than the shells. So we're going to have kind of a, a gap row that's going to have triple crochets to kind of build up some height on top of our strawberries to set us up for the next row of strawberries. Alright, so let's do that one. Let's chain four, turn your work, double crochet two of those in that first shell, partial shell. 
So again, always pay attention on each row how many how many chains there are between your shells and the strawberry. This row also has three. So there's there's going to be five rows of strawberries. This is a five row repeat pattern, which is kind of unusual because it reverses the front and the back reverses throughout since it's a five row repeat. <clears throat> and so between the shells and strawberries, two rows have one chain and then one row has two chains and then two rows have three chains. And once once you learn that, I think the rest of it's going to be pretty easy to remember. So I just changed three and now I'm going to do two yarn overs for a triple crochet and I'm going to do a triple crochet into that very top loop of my strawberry. And I'm going to chain three and then I'm going to do two more yarn overs to do another triple in the same space, the very top loop of that strawberry. Now that's made a, a big triangle on top of the strawberry. That's gotten our our column of of shells on the same level, the same plane as the strawberry row. So you'll, your strawberries will have this little gap between them. And this also gives us a, a hole to work the strawberry bottom for the next strawberry. This also kind of gives it more of a lacy look because you have some separation between your strawberries. All right, so chain three on this row. Chain three to work your, sh to get down to where your shell goes. So let's put your shell in your shell. So let's chain three and then we'll work another one of these triple triangles. So we've got a triple crochet into the top of that last strawberry. Chain three, another triple crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and do our partial shell at the end. All right, so that is all the rows, but I am going to do one more row of the strawberry bottom row because that one, when we first did it, it was in our beginning chain, so it's going to be a little different as we're doing it into these triangles. So let me show you that one and then you'll have all the rows you'll need to repeat to make this blanket. I made my four, I turned, I made my two double crochets. So again on the strawberry bottom row there's only one chain between the shells and the strawberry. And the strawberry bottom is going to be made into this big triangle that you made with your triples. And then remember the strawberry bottom is is five double crochets separated by chains. So I'm doing a, a double crochet and a chain, double crochet and a chain, so until I get five. So you see how I worked them into that big triangle and that made this kind of a large gap between my strawberries. And then again just one chain between that in the shell. So that's how you'll continue. You'll you'll repeat those five rows. You have the strawberry bottom row and then the three rows with the decreasing number of chains and then that setup row that has the the triple crochets, the triple crochet triangle. And the, you'll repeat those five rows over and over again and make the blanket the length you like and then just finish off with the top of a strawberry and you are done. So again look in the description of the video for a link to the pattern and I hope you enjoy making your no beginning chain strawberry blanket. Thanks bye bye.